but it did it. What's up, Hobby Corner enthusiasts? Welcome back to the corner. Well, actually, not the corner today. We're taking a field trip out of the corner to look at everything that I've purchased up to this point. You know, I set out with a goal of only spending $500 and buying up lots to see how much of the items that I've bought I can keep and how many, how much of it I have to actually sell back to try to close the gap in that $500 as close as possible. Um, either making my money back completely or trying to make a profit at best. But, you know, I do expect to have some type of loss probably, especially with the amount of work that you usually have to put into uh, things like buying up lots because they've come painted or some of the models might be damaged and you have to repair them because you get them for so cheap. But, you know, what we're going to do is basically go and look at everything that I've gotten. Uh, I can show you the stuff that I'm going to keep, the stuff I'm working on, and also I'm going to give you an update on some of the bigger items that I'm working on and so you can see the progress that I've made on them. Um, yeah, and when I get done, I'm going to put everything up and give you a little bit of philosophy on why I think everybody should be taking advantage of buying secondhand models, uh, new people and people who are already in the hobby uh, to expand their armies or, like I said, just start a new one. All right, so let me grab the handy cam and we can go over it. All right, so here we are with the handy cam. Um, we're gonna start out with the stuff that I'm actually going to keep. Uh, this right here being the most recent purchase that I've made. What this is is two 10 man sheets of Necron Warriors, basically complete with some scarabs. The other one is the sprue with a reanimator, the Plasma Sight, and the Scorpic Lord, and two Crypto Thralls. And I basically got this for $65 ship. I know I see a lot of people selling these things individually, you know, way, way more than that, probably over $100, you know, just for each little thing individually. But I got it for $65 ship, you know, I think shipping was like eight, seven, eight dollars I feel like I got a really good deal on that, you know what I mean? Basically like 50 bucks. That was the most recent one. I jumped on it as soon as I saw it because I, I don't feel like I passed that one up, right? Moving on, this is all the stuff I'm keeping from my army. Uh, as you see, this is the Hell Brute that we saw. You know, it's the one from the Dark Vengeance box set. I got most of it off. You can see just like a little bit of the uh, paint that's still left on there. I'll probably pick off later on. These bikers, I actually have all the stuff for them. They came brand new on the sprue. There's two sets of them. So, you know, there's 22 cultists that I wasn't going to add to my army, you know, and I traded them up for these two things. I feel like I got a really good deal on that one. Uh, I thought it was worth it. You know, I, I actually got a brand new sprue of Warp Talons if you watch the other videos about the lots. Um, this right here is basically all one box set. You know, I, I'm actually like some keeping these. Sorry, I transitioned some of the Monopose um, Chaos Marines into ones that I can use and added some of the bits that I had to make other pieces that I wanted. But basically, that's like a start collecting box set. Two Greater Possessed, the Master of Possession, Obliterators, 10 guys that are Monopose, and the Venom Crawler. This, like I said, this was all one big purple predator. I cleaned it up really good. I have some extra bits. I'm gonna fix it up. You know, my boy here too. We're gonna keep him. I do some play some D&D with my uh, sisters. So maybe I'll use him for that, I don't know. But yeah, that's everything I'm gonna keep. Uh, I probably won't keep this stuff right here. I'm still like 50-50 on the reanimator. I don't know if my brother's lists can really do anything with it. It's kind of shitty, but you know, I might trade off that as well. And also, like I said, these came in the lot. Maybe I'll use them. It, they're not complete, but probably in the sun, somebody who might want them, you know? So anyways, we'll move on to all the other stuff. Like this is a set of Terminators. These are bits that I had from Terminators that I have bought, you know, power fists, uh, lightning claws, axes, and things like that. I'm gonna fix those up or sell them as is. That's five of them right there. I mean, I just might, you know, I stripped all the paint off of them. You can see they were, they were painted up. But I stripped all of them, they're down to like black and gray. And I'll probably either sell them as like, you know, with all the bits, you know, separate. Somebody can do what they want with them. Or I might, you know, fix them up. This is a batch of possessed. My plans are to use these along with some of these to build some armies. These are the Dark Vengeance Chosen. You could probably use them for like chaos lords and things like that. Probably what I'll do. 
but you know, we'll see what happens. I got three Chaos Cultists, they're random. If there's any like leftover guys after I get done doing what I want with these, I'll probably just make a kill team that includes these guys and sell them like that. Here we got all these bits I'll probably use to fix these up with, along with some of those bits that I'm not gonna use on my stuff. This is the Defiler, one of them at least. This is the most complete one, got the Scourge. I actually had to take this off of the other one because the one that was on this one was broken, so before it can move back and forth, now it can't. Uh, oh well. You know, I got all the pieces I need to make this. Only thing is, the back piece of here is damaged, he cut it off. Not quite sure why, but you know, like I said, this, this guy was trying to make some type of like weird amalgamation thing with cow parts and chaos pits. So I'm basically, if you're gonna take these exhaust vents, then I'll either take these and take some grain stuff and mold them on the back of it, just so it can look kind of like that right there. I'll figure something out, but it's gotta just have to go, it has to go on there. You know, I got some bits that I'm gonna put on there to make it look, you know, decorative. And I have a combi bolter bit I'm gonna stick on the front so it can be played as having a combi flamer on it, you know, because it's Overwatch, you know. Then we got the Defiler. Oh, this is like, not the fire, but the uh, soul grinder. Like I said, I actually got the back part for this sucker and the shoulder. Neither, I didn't have either one of these things or I couldn't pry them off of any of this stuff. And uh, I got them in a random lot, man. It was the coolest thing because they're the pieces I needed to make this thing work completely, you know what I mean? But I had to uh, mold my own green stuff on there to make it uh, fit. You know, it was cut up really bad. Um, I got all the pieces, you know, the exhaust in his back, the mouth bit. And I have this, and I have this. I might not put either one of them so I could uh, paint it more ambiguously when I get done. These legs are basically gonna be monopose, and I didn't have a, a six leg, so I had to use a claw. Uh, this claw was in there, it looked like it was already painted up there, so you know, he's gonna have a claw instead of a six legs, but I have to fix that back part up. It's kinda broken. Uh, so I'm just gonna like green stuff some the leg back on there and then make it so it stays in one. The two front legs can move, will be able to move, but the uh, other ones are gonna stay with there because they're gonna glued in place. And I don't want to damage it too much. But basically, this came out super good. The claw was broken, so I took some chain swords. So get that. It made it look like like you know, it was mutated into having like this chain claw thing, you know? Like it grabbed you, just like scissor your body. Yeah, uh, that's what this is. I'm basically gonna have that, fi that finish sometime. I got another shoulder to go on there. And those are two big projects. It took me a little bit to like clean them up and fix and get everything together. So this right here is actually gonna be an obliterator. It's, this is more like, like, what can I do with all these extra little shitty bits that I, I had? Like they come off of the sprue with the Mauler, the Hellbrute, and this that little beast guy. And basically I'm gonna use all these mechanical bits and guns and put them on there. I have uh, the Hellbrute wrist guns. I'm gonna put some green stuff. I have a bunch of cables that I'll put around. So I'm basically just gonna hook up a bunch of cables from the back and everything to the front, which is the gun. And I'm gonna put some green stuff over it to look like how the skin comes out, like the flesh comes out and melds with the metal parts. Yeah, it's got guns on the wrists. And I'm, I'm just gonna like, you know, comparatively chop the, chop the feet off. I have extra feet hooks. I'm gonna have the green stuff, some stuff on there. Maybe I can make it look good. It's gonna be for my man. I'm not gonna probably sell that one. That was just like a little project. Cause I wanted three different looking obliterators. And that's basically it. I could have got it like a mutilator or something, but whatever. This uh, basically is what I'm gonna turn into a demon prince. I had all these pieces that come off of the craziness over there. And this hand was busted up. Um, the claws missing, so I had to green stuff some claws on there. I think I did a pretty good job. Make it look back to normal compared to what the demon prince is. And I have some 3D printed legs. I'm gonna attach to it. I cut off the arms. I'm gonna like take this part, cover up the stinger, 
put some legs on him, give him demon arms. I mean, he has wings, so he'll be like a demon prince. I, I measured him up against the one I have, and it's basically the same size. And over here, like this, is a pile of leftover bits, you know? So right now I have just like most of the defiler, a bunch of, and uh, I can probably figure out a way to like kit bash a defiler out of this somehow, you know? I got pieces where I can like attach this to him. So he's like, maybe like make him a chair. So he's sitting on the throne and he's got like a lever in his hand or something. I'll probably sell for like 20, 30 bucks if I can if I can make it look nice enough. You know, I got the pieces, I'll use some of the, ex whatever exhaust I don't use from that, I can use on there. You maybe take some like milliput and make like a slug-like body. I probably mostly abandon this stuff until I can get something to like put it all together. And also we can go over to all the bits that I have. So this is like all of the bits that I'm gonna use to fix up all the marines that I have, you know? I have a ton of, ton of shoulders, Chain swords, backpacks, standards, guns, tons of heads, and tons of guns and weapons. My plan for all of these, this is over 127 of them, is basically take them and make 500 point armies that I can sell for like 60 to $80, depending on how many come with it. One of the reasons why I started this project was to basically practice painting on these guys. So when I got to my army, I could paint them really well. So I'm gonna try to paint these guys, set them up in, and basically just make 500 point lists with a one li with like a HQ and you know troops and stuff like that. It's like starter army, starter chaos armies and stuff like that. It took me a while to get to working on these because this blue stuff, I don't know what it is, but it was covering on like most of these. Most of these came from one lot and they were covered in this blue stuff. They were all painted too, but this blue stuff was all over them. I had no idea what it was. But yeah, I didn't get that off, get the paint off. But now that they're all clean, I can start working on them. I got these four uh, little tyranid things. I have no idea what they're called. And this was a raider. You can admire the kit bashing job I did to turn it into a reaper for my girl. You know, um, right after they made Dark Lances much better, but hey. Them's the brakes, and these are hellbrew parts. I could probably do something with them, sell them as is. I got the Scourge, Auto Cannon, the Hammer, I mean. And then, the, what is this, the last cannon parts. I was planning on using for the uh, Obliterator, but I don't think it's gonna turn out too well. So I'm go ahead, gonna go ahead and put everything up, and I'll talk to you a little bit while I'm doing that. So yeah, I'd like to preface this by saying that the most challenging thing about starting any miniature tabletop game is going to be the cost. I started this project mainly looking to add models to my army, knowing I could resell the bits and models that I wasn't going to use to recoup as much of my expense as possible. I figured I could practice painting on some of the less valuable models, seeing as it really won't affect the value one way or another, and later I figured I could share my experience with others to show that they could overcome one of the most difficult obstacles in starting Warhammer 40,000. Now, getting into my philosophy on secondhand models, I want to convey that there are tons of people getting into and out of the hobby constantly, and also some people buy armies, don't like how they play, or get tired of playing a certain faction, and then those people sell or trade the armies to fund a new one, or just to retire from the game period. Usually you can find that people sell these models at a price that's less than 75% of the new cost. Now as a new player, you honestly don't know how to play the game or understand the capabilities or playstyles of specific factions, so it's not very wise to invest so heavily into a single faction until you know the ins and outs of the army that you are looking to build. I can see that if you have prior experience or have done thorough research on the game before getting into the newest edition, you can fully jump into your army no worries, but the point is someone building a new army should look into like, buying lots that have pre-painted or unpainted and pre-built models where they can get 2,000 points worth of models for a steep discount. And look, if you're anything like me, even if you have the funds to blow on that brand new on the sprue plastic crack, you probably don't want to. I look at this option as a way to alleviate the amount of spending I do on my hobby, as well as giving me an outlet to continue to indulge on the painting and modeling aspect once my army itself is complete. Painting and modeling to me is half the hobby, 
and is just as enjoyable as playing the game itself. Painting and repairing models aren't necessarily things you have to be expected to do when buying lots. I just tend to look for models that are in rough condition because they usually are the most inexpensive lots out there. And overall, you can look at buying, painting, repairing, and reselling these models as a hobby in itself. And honestly, even if I have no need for models in the future, I'll probably still continue to indulge in buying and selling them as I do like being thrifty and catching really good deals when I can. Well, that's it for now, and I hope you enjoyed the showing. I'll see you in the next video, and hopefully I can figure out a way to mount the camera so I can work on the projects I'm working on now and capture them on video so you can see them. Alright, deuces.